How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I have an absolutely awesome video for you because I'm going to teach you how you can update your iPhone to iOS 17 right now for free, the official method by Apple. And I'm sure you're probably thinking, yeah, but right now the only iOS 17 version available is for the developers, is the iOS 17 developer beta. And that's true. But the thing is, Apple actually changed the developer program and now anyone can actually sign up to the developer program for free, therefore download and install iOS 17 for free on their iPhones the official way. This is so good because you don't have to wait anymore, you can get iOS 17 right now. So as always, I'm going to do this process step by step and the first thing I want to show you is going here to settings and then scrolling down to general and about and that I am in fact in iOS 16, as you can see 16.5 on this iPhone. So I'm going to do this with you. There are no gimmicks here or anything like that. And the first important information is go ahead and make sure your iPhone is updated to the latest version of iOS 16 available. In my case, 16.5. On yours, depending on when you're watching this video, it could be 16.6. .6. So just go ahead here, go to software update and update to the latest version of iOS 16 available. So you won't have any problems. Second, make sure your iPhone is compatible to iOS 17. So as you probably know by now, iPhones 8, 8 Plus and 10 are not compatible. So your iPhone needs to be at least the iPhone 10R, 10S and newer, including SE2 and SE. Three. Okay, so let's start with the process itself. And the first thing you have to do is go here to your settings again, and then you're going to tap on your name right there at the top. And then you're going to go to iCloud and then iCloud backup. And this is important, guys. That's why I'm stressing this because this is super important. Make sure to back up your iPhone right now before you update to iOS 17. Keep in mind that iOS 17 is on beta 1, is a major software update, so it's gonna have some bugs and problems and you're gonna thank me later if you back up right now. Because if you actually regret iOS 17, you can go back to iOS 16 and since you backed up before, you won't lose any of your data. So make sure to back up right now in iOS 16. You can back up through iCloud or through a computer, videos here on the channel. On top of that, I'm also releasing alongside this video a downgrade process. So don't worry because if you regret updating to iOS 17, I teach you how you can come back to 16, okay? All videos in the description, all right? So all you have to do now after you back it up is go here, open up Safari, and then you're gonna go to this website, which is developer, as you can see, developer.apple.com. That's right. Go to developer.apple.com and then tap here on the menu, as you can see right there, and then account. And then right here, you're going to actually need to type in your Apple ID and password. And then you can tap on the little arrow, as you can see, it's going to load. And if you have two-step verification, you're going to need to go ahead and allow right here and type in the code. Then you're going to need to trust this browser. So trust. And then it's going to load, as you can see, the agreement, as you can see, the Apple developer agreement. And this is super important because what you're doing here is pretty much allowing your Apple ID to enroll to the Apple developer program, which used to be paid, as I mentioned, used to be $99 a year. Now it's completely free. So now you can go ahead and scroll down a bit and check this box. And we have this second box as well. This is optional uh, if you want to receive communications and events and news and everything like that. Uh, I generally leave both on, but you can disable this if you want to and then submit. And right here we have our account. So Apple developer, we're done. All we have to do now is restart our iPhone. So go ahead and press here the side button and volume up at the same time. Press and hold both. Keep holding for two seconds, release, and then go ahead and slide to power off. So just restart your iPhone normally, okay? After you slide, wait around five seconds. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait a few seconds, yep, we're done. And now we can go ahead and press just the side button, press and hold. 
just the side button until you see the Apple logo right there, release and then just wait for your iPhone to reboot. We're done, so you can go ahead and swipe up, type in your passcode, and then we can go ahead and go to settings, scroll down to general software update, and we'll see right there, beta updates. Please keep in mind that sometimes it takes a while for beta updates to show up. Sometimes you may go ahead to this page and just see automatic updates, don't see this option this may happen okay so if it does go ahead come back come back here to your settings wait a few seconds and then go back to general software update and it can take like 10 seconds 15 even 30 seconds so be a little patient but it will show up okay so then go ahead here tap on beta updates and now we have the ios 17 developer beta so go ahead here tap on ios 17 developer beta come back and what we see is this iOS 17 we're done guys we can do it so you can go ahead and download and install type in your passcode once again and then wait a few seconds until you see terms and conditions and or not it's gonna go straight ahead so yeah it's a beta right and as you can see update requested so all you have to do now is wait and I'll be back when it's done because I'm gonna show it to you that it works and so after a few minutes you're gonna see a pop-up screen and you can tap on update now or you can just wait and it'll automatically update which was my case I just turned around and when I looked at it it was already updating as you can see uh, if you're low on battery, I do recommend that you plug in on the charger. In my case, I had like 80%, so then it's cool. And so, as you can see, software update, your iPhone has been updated to iOS 17.0. We can already go ahead and swipe up, type in your passcode, and of course, there we go. Let's go to settings, scroll down, tap on general, about and 17.0 that's right we're on ios 17 and as you can see as well all our data is here everything is here perfect so all of my files all of my apps as if nothing happened a normal software update and of course let's head back to settings one more time top wallpaper and then add new wallpaper scroll down just a bit and of course use the new and it's gonna load right here, but I know it's here, iOS 17 theme. I'm gonna add set as wallpaper pair, and there we go, we're on iOS 17. Now it's official. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy iOS 17, bye bye.